Theater van Tricht. And I'm so excited for everybody who sees this video because I have a lot of awesomeness to share with you. I want to talk to you about how you create more time and get your projects done. And this is important if you're a professional, an entrepreneur, a student, a mom or a dad, or just anybody who feels like, how am I going to get everything done because I have the family, the work, the household, everything to manage and you just feel overwhelmed with all of these jobs. But basically first I want to talk to the entrepreneurs because it's very important that you finish your project. Especially if you have investors who want to see results at a certain date, you need to provide that result. And there's a lot of distractions in the world. I'm going to address all of that, how to stop procrastination, how not to get distracted and much more. So I've got this very nice touch screen here today. And uh, so my name is Dr. Vela van Tricht. I also have an online program called The Burnout Expert, which you can find online. So who am I? Well, not only am I a medical doctor and an eye surgeon, and you can see me for private consultations in Newport. <laughs> uh, I was trained as a feature retinal specialist. I'm a best-selling author. Uh, Success Starts Today, um, I co-wrote with uh, Jack Canfield and others. And last year I had a best-selling award that I received in Hollywood, which was like the coolest thing ever. I really loved that. Um, I'm also a success coach, so I love helping other people become empowered so that they can achieve the life of their dreams. And for many people that means having not to worry about money, having the freedom to be their own boss and to do what they like and also bringing like everybody has something to offer in the world and to bring that to the world and really create and be you and get paid for it. I mean, that's what everybody would love to do. In essence so I'm also a dive and a Reiki master and I'm a mother of three kids three cats and one dog so you might wonder how do I do it all how did I get to write two books and work full-time and be a mom and um, travel the world with my kids kids so it's a question of good time management so here you see me in my role as an eye surgeon and here I uh, got my award in Hollywood last year for the best-selling uh, book. And um, I took my children to uh, the Caribbean a few times. And driving a horse on the beach was always on my bucket list. So we managed to do that there. So this is actually a good example of a balanced life. You have part work, part family, part creation and career and education and learning new things I find it's very important for anybody in any stage of your life because if you don't learn and grow I mean what's the alternative just wheelchair so I'm very very uh, keen on helping people manage their time <clears throat> so they actually manage their life better and create a happy balanced life Brian Tracy is one of the <clears throat> founders of the self-help, self-development industry. He's also written many, many books on the issue. And I do advise you read some of his books. Uh, one tiny little book that helps a lot is um, Eat That Frog. And it talks about how you um, eat, <laughs> eat, how you approach any project is in the, in the beginning of the day, you kind of do like, the job that you don't like first and get it out of the way. That's one of the messages from one of his books that I will never forget. So <clears throat> when you are looking at your project and you have a start date and an end date and you know what you have to do, you have to be clear on what you want to do. That's the first step. <clears throat> so First of all, to get motivated and stay motivated, you need to know what is your long-term plan. And we will, we will go down to the short-term plans and goals also. But first of all, to stay motivated, you need to know where do you want to be in five to 10 years time from now. And you can dream really big, you know, aim for the stars and end up at the, end up at the moon is a very good achievement. So that's just an example of how dreaming big um, can actually keep me motivated. And I actually advise you make a vision board 
and I would love to give you all like a group session on that where you sit together we bring all the photos of what you want to achieve in five to, to ten years and we all create a beautiful vision board for us that we can hang up in our bedroom so every morning we wake up and we start doing that particular job or work we know why we're doing it because we know why we're doing it today so it can lead us to that beautiful future that we're dreaming of in five to ten years time so imagine if you would have your ideal life in five year times how would you feel in your body? Just imagine, where would you like to live in five years time? What does your home look like? What will your family look like? How do you want to, how do you want to wake up? And do you want to wake up with somebody else that you love? What work will you be enjoying in five to 10 years time? It's, in, it's important you kind of close your eyes, sit down for a moment and just think five to 10 years in the future, where do you want to be ideally if you could have anything you desire after you visualized your home what you do for money who is it who lives in the home with you how healthy and vibrant you're feeling also think about what do you do for fun and also you can imagine how much money do you want to see in your account and just visualize that because visualization is so effective because your brain if you visualize this every day your brain will accept this is the reality that you want and you will start making the choices and decisions decisions that lead to that outcome so that's why visualization and especially repeating it every day is essential if you want to achieve these big dreams and to give an example for students when I was preparing for my medical exams many years ago, more than 20 years ago, I got this advice from one of my friends and I visualized myself three times a day. I visualized myself doing really well at my exams. And when it came to the day of my exams, I don't think that my answers were better than anybody else's answers, but I was so confident when I was talking to the professors and they were, and they were questioning me, I was so confident that I was doing well that they kind of believe that I was doing well and I got really high scores. So, I mean, it, it is also in believing in yourself and you just radiate that belief. And of course, you have to put in the work too, but believing that you can achieve it is number one. And why you want to achieve it. So step one was clarity and step two was the visualization. Step three is now we're gonna chunk it down. How are you gonna get to that big dream? So. There's a few steps involved. You need to make a plan for every year. So let's say you want to get there in five years. You need to know what do I need to do in year one to get there after five years. You also then need to sit down every quarter. What do I need to do every quarter this year to get there at the end of the year? Then you also every week, every Sunday night, you need to sit down and, and write down what do I need to do this week, every day, so I can get ultimately to that long-term goal. And then you look down every morning in your organizer and you need to decide what is my priority today that I need to do. And I choose at least three things every day that brings me closer to my big goal and dream. So I don't know how many of you already have these habits, but these are habits that very efficient people worldwide do. And actually a lot of people have studied it and written books about it, so I'm not making that up. It's because I have studied with these people also um, that I'm sharing that knowledge with you. And it works for me, so it will work for you too. So, something interesting that I want to show you. Um, so, why do we need to prioritize? That's step number four. Um, Pareto was an Italian economist, I must not forget that. And uh, what he found was that 20% of the effort you put into brings you 80% of the results. So that's why it's so important to look at your business or whatever you're trying to achieve your studies um, is to look at what should I put most effort in? What brings me the best results? So for instance, for Elio, if he has more traction in Asia with Venture Capital Summit, then maybe you should put more effort in those areas. 
and it's just an example. I also look at my own business and if I see that most of my income comes from my doctor's job, then I've prioritized doing that first. And even though I love creating books and coaching people, it's not my priority every day. So I've changed that and it makes more business sense to do the things that brings you the most benefit and profit. So do what is important first. And so for students, if they have to decide without, between shall I watch this Netflix series or shall I study for the upcoming exam, you know what will bring you closer to your dream of getting your degree, getting out into the world, is not watching the Netflix movies tonight, but actually getting the study. So it will help you give clarity on saying, no, this is not bringing me closer to my goal. Yes, this is bringing me closer to my goal. I need to prioritize this uh, job, this effort, this um, uh, task today. So Eat the Frog is the book that I was talking about, written by Brian Tracy, that I recommend. It's a very small book, easy read. It takes half an hour or something to read it. So, so there's a lot of things that will ask for your attention every day, but you need to prioritize. Look at your vision board, know where you're heading in the long run, and every day stick to what brings you the most um, results. And then of course, once you've done that, there will be time for fun and family and lots of other things to do. So this is a, a nice schedule of the 80-20% the um, Pareto Principle that works in economics. Uh, so 20% of what we do brings us 80% of the results. I always think that's very nice how that demonstrates why you need to prioritize and what you need to prioritize. So stay five is to stay in the moment. Um, so once you've decided this is what I need to do, we'll do that most important thing first thing in the day then it's important that you don't get distracted. So I advise you get a sign like that. Please do not disturb this work, uh, important work being done behind this door. Even if you work in an office with other people or you work at home and you have the rest of the family hanging around. My children are old enough. When I say I don't want to be disturbed, it works. Unfortunately, my dog can open doors so often comes in while I'm doing like a a video presentation or an interview and then my cat walks over my keyboard so I still ideally I should have an office out there somewhere else outside of the house to do that so I don't get distracted um, so you do the sign on the door you need to put your phone actually outside of your office outside of the room where you're doing your work um, even because otherwise you get distracted by all these ping ping beep beep and everything messages that come in so um, the best thing is to just put it somewhere else where you don't hear it at all. And also we have a lot of apps on our phone that distract us, right? That sends us messages. First of all, you can take, you can turn the sound off and the messages off or just delete those apps that are not really necessary on your phone. So you get things done that you want to get done. So the main distractions in modern life now come from electronics and from people. So you tell everybody, don't disturb me, I need 90 minutes to finish this task. And after 90 minutes, they can come and knock on your door and I will have time to listen to you. I mean, that is acceptable, I think, in most work environments. And also, get the phone out of the way, turn it off, put it in the locker, lock it up, and just don't look at it. Um, so, because honestly, if the building is on fire, the alarm will go off and you know, 90 people can do 90 minutes without you. So, next one. Step six. Uh, I love this metaphor. I, I went to coaching school in Melbourne, the coaching institute, and they always use this metaphor. How do you eat an elephant? And then people think like, no, I can't eat an elephant. Yes, you can. One step at a time. That's the answer. So how do you overcome procrastination? Because I remember in my first year as a medical student, um, the things that I had to learn was like so many books, nothing was online yet 30 years ago. So it was like a room full of books that I had to 
like cramming my brain and the exam was like next week and it's so overwhelming right so what would I what I did and what luckily I learned this is I just moved all of the books out of the room out of my sight and I decided today I'm only gonna study this and then it's just one little book and that's oh okay I've got 12 hours or more in a day that I can study and then oh there's only 100 pages that's easy then suddenly it becomes easy because it's just a tiny bit and then you can start working because it seems like the work is achievable and you will get it done so bite sizes is very important and also uh, most people can't concentrate for longer than 90 minutes so if you really are you sleep enough and then you have a good breakfast ideally you start off with a little bit of movement like go for a run or do some stretches do some yoga um, because if you want to be a really successful person you need to do all of that to keep on going and keep on high performance habits every single day entails not only the work but also taking good care of your health good sleep healthy food and movement so you you get your task done and then you start moving around then you go for a walk around the block or you run on the treadmill or you do something physical because your body needs to distress and you need to create more feel-good hormones which you get from exercise and then you're ready to go for your next bite so that is the ideal day if you're in control of your day to do it that way so to repeat leave your phone on silent and outside of your room only check your emails twice a day maximum because you can constantly be looking at emails and 95% are emails that you don't want to see so um, when I was lucky enough to have a secretary she deleted all the emails for me that were non-relevant she probably spent an hour a day on doing that and there was maybe one email a week that was really important that she then presented to me so there's a lot of time wasted wastage in your emails unfortunately you know people who need you urgently they will phone you right and you need to tell that to the people who matter in your life um, so if you don't want to get distracted by too many social media apps I recommend you just delete them and the do not disturb sign we mentioned that and for people with, who work at home like a lot of entrepreneurs do it's really tough when you have little kids running around or pets running around who want things the whole time so I advise that you find another place to work there are every city has workplaces where you, that you can use um, or you can just sit in a cafe or cafe meaning a place where they sell coffee in my language it means a place where they sell beer and it would be too loud to work there um, so yeah what I used to do I had this beautiful coffee shop on the beach where I lived in Queensland and I would just get comfortable there with my laptop and get lots of work done so I even had some meetings there it's just perfect but no, no matter where in the world you um, live you will find a quiet place somewhere where you can have good internet and just peace and quiet and just a cup of coffee that's all you need to get the work done okay and I would like people who are watching to actually share with me what their favorite place is outside of the home where they get that work done actually another tip that I have I love working on trains and on planes because when I am alone on, on a train and I always ask for a table seat you can charge your electronics there they often have Wi-Fi on trains and you can like I create blog posts I create new presentations um, there's a lot of work to be done there and you sit still in any case nobody's interrupting you same thing on a plane you use kind of restricted to your seat you have a little table and you can focus so those are two of my favorite places to get a lot of work done without too many distractions so step seven I love my Sunday evenings when I look at the big the big dream and then I decide what do I need to achieve this week and I write out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, essential things to do. What can I do to bring my business forward? What can I do for my health? What can I do, uh, depending what your goals are in that moment. Um, to use an example for me, I have 
this job, have that job, I need to finish the blog post, I need to, you know, it's like, I, it depends, everybody's life is different, but what you need to do that week to get you closer to your goal, three essential things, you know, always. Also, three people to contact each day because you're probably waiting for some responses or you probably have people that you could help or they could help you or that you need to get into contact with who could be potential customers. So I have this written down on Sunday evening so I know when I get up Monday morning and it's crazy trying to get ready and bring them to school but I've already have everything ready that I need to do. I need to get in the car with these things so um, I can be start my week very efficiently basically because if you are a parent and you have a business and you're trying to grow something else and you have another job and you need to be organized otherwise you just go crazy and get burnout just like I did when I had my first child if you want to know more about that go to https www.burnoutexpert.co.uk where you can get my online burnout recovery program and it has six modules in it and one of them is time management a lot more uh, extensively than this presentation uh, it also has a uh, workbooks meditations and everything it's a very very um, holistic program so that's my Sunday evening routine and you arrive at work on Monday looking all prepared and successful at your job that's the idea so step number eight if you can't do it yourself so that's, you could learn to do it yourself for instance me and technology it's a problem <laughs> so but I learned to do a lot of things myself like doing Facebook live I didn't know how to do that two years ago so now I can do it um, if you look at your list of jobs or things that you need to do either you can do it yourself or if you have staff or anybody else you can do it you delegate it or if it's not that essential you just delete it and say sorry I can't take you to the birthday party because there's not enough hours in the day you don't or you ask somebody else to drive your child to the birthday party and of course um, technology you can find a lot of things on Google and online on how to do just like in how to start a Facebook live video and there will be explanations and you can learn to do it yourself um, step nine so I already spoke about the um, importance of good sleep and good mood to be a successful entrepreneur and what I love about my schedules is that when I achieve things and I have this big book in my bag that I tick off all the things that I've achieved and you know what the sense of achievement you get from finishing these jobs you produce dopamine in your brain and serotonin and it makes you feel good and you actually just like running it becomes addictive to be successful and effective in, in in doing what you're supposed to do and actually giving yourself that reward so your brain will reward you like yes I did it yes I passed my exam yes I finished studying that course yes I got my first client yes I achieved this financial goal Yes, I finished this project that my investor wanted me to finish in this time frame. You will feel so good that your brain wants more and more of it. So you become a high achiever if you do this. And I must say, I'm kind of addicted to success at the moment. So for me, it's really hard to not have a next project. Um, but, you know, you deserve a break now and then. I take my kids on a holiday and relax. So, the 10th step is, if you have problems implementing this and you need a, a, somebody to hold your hand who's been through it all before, I advise you get a coach. There's a lot of coaches that you can get in your own environment. I'm available. Uh, I would love to empower you to become successful and achieving your dreams, uh, becoming successful entrepreneurs, to become somebody who has a balanced life uh, who can balance work career family that's something I'm very passionate about 
So contact me if you want help uh, because I love empowering people. It's the thing that really, really gets me going. I love to see all the people I've helped and like after we work together, they like their life takes off in like such a better way and they have a good smile on their face and they glow because they're more true to themselves and we, we all want to be true to ourselves. We all want our essence to shine through and just like be successful and, and let people see all of the talents we have and put it to good use uh, for other people. So that is what makes us like feel like we really are living our mission in our lifetime. And I think that is what ultimate, ultimately makes us so content that um, we, um, I, want, I didn't want to be too negative to say like that we can die knowing that we've lived a full and happy life. <laughs> but it sounded like a bit of a negative ending to my presentation. So if you want to learn more about how to create time, <laughs> I have six modules online that you can get at this website and with code.uk and um, it is like only 97 pounds for the self-study program and you get a free ebook and you can also like put your name down to get my blogs which got a lot of holistic uh, tools to uh, help you live a healthier, more successful, empowered life. So um, I hope to see you either there online where you can contact me in person um, for coaching or for any speaking. Uh, I, you can contact me via my website or even better via my Facebook page, which is Dr. Verena Van Tricht. And this is the end. And